In case you didn't gather from the thumbnail, the topic of today's video is focus. I'm going to play a few holes out here and I'm going to really work on my concentration over the golf ball and try not to get distracted. Let's get into it. Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to try and help your game. Today's video is not going to be about technique. It's not going to be about any kind of swing changes. It's not going to be about mechanics at all. It's going to be about focus and we're going to try and put it to some real world context here. And I want to see where I get lost. I want to take some mental notes here and maybe this is something some of you guys out there need to work on as well. You start wondering what happened to my golf game. Where did it go when I got on course? All of a sudden the wheels came off and I think some of that can come down to our focus. All right, I'm going to go with the driver here. This is a shortest par five. It's 451 yards. It's going 43 feet uphill. So, you know, it's going to be all carry. You're not going to get a lot of rollout on it. And I don't get a lot of rollout on this simulator anyway, but I'm going to tee up a driver here. I've got it aimed down the middle, probably around 250 yards. Let's see what we get here. All right, kept pretty good focus on that shot. My intention when I stood over it, the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to focus on the intermediate point. I want to imagine the intermediate point in front of the golf ball. And I've got some little fuzz on the carpet here and I keep it there so that I can kind of get myself lined up where I want to be as an intermediate point. Then when I set up from there, I'm really trying to just settle in and feel like I'm going to make that swing in my circle. You know, I'm all about drawing a circle. If you don't know about that, Go back and watch some of the recent videos in the last couple of months, but I'm just trying to make a circle and I'm envisioning that circle tracking over that intermediate point and just coming up on plane this way toward the target. I'm not thinking about technique. I just want to feel relaxed. I want to really feel like I'm setting the club on that plane on the backswing and then bringing it around on plane in front of me and follow through on to, to the target. I've got 210. I'm going to hit a five iron here, 22 feet up the hill. I'm really going to have to focus on getting this into the bottleneck of that green. Good solid contact, not too much effort. All right, so we're on the second shot of this video and already I have lost my focus and I can tell you specifically where it got lost. When I was set up, I didn't lose it there. When I was imagining my circle around me on plane, I didn't lose it there. When I thought about the spot and making sure that my body and my setup felt like I could take it away and bring it right back through that spot, I didn't lose it there. But as soon as I took the club away, I lost the feeling and the connection to that plane in my body and in, in my brain somewhere. I don't know exactly where the disconnect was, but somewhere in there that that imagination that I was using to visualize that plane in front of me, it disappeared. It just went away as if somebody deleted it off of the screen in my brain. So it came out thin. I didn't end up bad. Uh, I've got a 40 yard pitch shot coming into this green now. Plenty of plenty of green to work with. Let's try and hit this 40 yard shot and see if I can save a birdie. Now, the truth of the matter is, is that I didn't lose my focus on that shot. I felt like I focused pretty good. I had a pretty good feel for the shot. But what's tough on this game is when you're trying to learn those actual numbers, 40.2 yards. I want to fly at 36 yards, whatever it is. And then you're dealing with the elevation. Sometimes they can come up a little short or a little bit long of where you wanted them to go. And then occasionally with some partial shots on the simulator, it can actually kick it a little bit left or a little bit right of, of what you were trying to do. The other thing that really kind of sucks about the simulator is, is that now I'm on the fringe. I would definitely putt this. The problem with these small chip shots on the simulator is if it's too small, it won't register. You have to get it up in the air enough and almost go to that screen before it hits the ground. And sometimes that can be too much. Let's see if I can feather this one in just so. 
Ah, that's way too much. Calm down. No, 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 no. Turned out good. Stay, stay, stay. All right, I'll lift it three foot six from the hole. That should be good enough to save a par on this par five, but a short par five, I should be capable of a birdie on that hole. Next up, we've got a pretty fair par four. Now, this is a 350 yard par four. Again, it goes almost 50 feet up the hill. We're kind of getting some uphill. No, no assistance with your drives here. I think I've got the marker put at it about 240 yards down the middle of the fairway. This is gonna be a pretty stock drive. How do I explain that tee shot? I don't feel like I lost focus. Something went wrong with my balance in that swing. At least I know what happened, okay? Uh, I still made a, a, a manageable shot out of it. It was a really short drive. It was off to the left. It came out low. It was not a superb shot, but I've, I've got 134 yards going 28 feet or 25 feet up the hill on this next one. Should just be a little baby nine iron up there. Uh, really, I just lost my balance with that shot. That had nothing to do with focus. Let's dial this one in. I want to stick this one tight. I've got a really good opportunity here. I want to put it within 10 feet and make a birdie. Well struck shot. Just as I drew it up, it ended up 13 feet and a half or something like that away. So not quite inside that 10 foot range, but it gave me a two putt. That's the par, par four on that hole. Par on the first hole was a par five, made par on that hole, so it's two pars. Uh, now we are on to a 445 yard par five. That seems like a really gettable hole. It's a short par five, but now you're traveling 60 feet uphill to a fairly tight fairway over some trees and bushes here in the beginning it's kind of a blind fairway really gonna have to keep my focus don't get too aggressive i really do not have to knock the crap out of this golf ball i just need to get it out there in the fairway to have a really decent shot at being on the screen in two Solid drive, 242 yards up the hill, 96.7 miles an hour, club head speed, ended up just where I wanted it to be. Now I've got 203, but I'm still going 32 feet uphill. There's not going to be much roll out of this one. That being said, this is not quite enough distance for my hybrid to, to come down to. If I hit the hybrid, I run a real risk of going off of the back of this green and the pin is in the front. Um, I'm going to hit a five iron. And I'm gonna try and put a little baby draw on it and just hope I, I get enough carry and roll out of it. This is why golf is hard. <laughs> if you think that simulators are, are really easy, it's not. <laughs> it's just like real golf in the sense that you still have to stay in your zone, in your mind. Now I've got 36 and a half yards left out of the rough from behind a bunker to a pretty tight pin. Now I really have to execute. I've got to perform to get close and maybe save a uh, birdie on this par five. Well, that was a well executed shot. I put it to seven feet away. It gave me a two putt from seven feet. Uh, that, that could very well happen on a golf course. All right, one final hole, one hole. I wanna make sure that I get every shot executed. So I really wanna focus in on each one of these, not put in too much effort, just make good swings, follow the picture that's in my mind. I've got a really short par four here, 329 yards. It goes about five feet down the hill. I don't have to hit driver here, but I'm going to pull out the driver anyway and go for it. I'm going to see just how dialed in I can get it.
Well struck drive, 77 and a half yards left into this flag, uh, about six feet up the hill. I've got a little green to work with. Left is dead, right is the miss. Don't want to be too deep. Let's get into the 54 degree wedge, put maybe a half, maybe a five eight swing on it. Get in for birdie. Yes. That's birdie to finish it out. So what, what am I getting at with this video? What, what am I trying to do? I just came out here and played a few holes in the simulator for you, right? I'm just trying to hit some shots. Here's, here's what I'm driving at. On the golf course, it, it's not like practice. With practice, if you get on the range, everybody knows that if you, you hit a ball bad, you just pull up another ball and you keep swinging until you hit a good one. But on the golf course, you get one shot to get it right. Unless, you know, you start dumping them into the woods and then you got to take a whole bunch of drops. And then you might be able to take that tee shot as many times as you want. But if you're trying to play decent golf and have a decent score, you get one shot one chance to get it right so it in in the past i had been working on trying to get my mechanics correct because i thought that it was mechanical failure and to be fair i had one shot out here or maybe two that was a mechanical failure was the mechanical failure the root cause of it was it what started the whole thing to collapsing no not necessarily. It could very well be that your focus, your concentration, your, your loss of what it was that you were trying to accomplish just kind of poof and vanishes. I, I get everything kind of set up in the setup. I get, you know, the club face orientation. I get the direction with the intermediate target, my grip, my stance. Everything is, is done at the setup. So once I start to hit a shot and it's time to pull the trigger, all I'm trying to really do is focus on making that circle, imagining the image of that circle in my mind, where it goes, and follow and trace that circle with the golf club and hopefully impact the correct spot on the golf ball. When I lose focus of that, that is when the wheels come off, when I start attaching a certain distance to it. I've already chosen the club. Why do I need to worry about the distance? The club is going to go basically the distance within a certain tolerance that it's supposed to go. I've already aimed it in a particular direction. Why do I need to think about where I need to be hitting this golf ball? I've already done that at the setup. All I need to think about is executing that circle. And so often myself, and I'm sure a lot of you out there get lost in the weeds and we lose that focus. Guys, the whole point of this channel is to try and use myself and use my game and what I'm going through to try and improve my game that hopefully will create some relatable content that all of you can maybe see something in that you identify with. So leave me some comments down below. What, what do you do to maintain your focus? What is it that you're thinking about? What's your swing thought? What is your focus over the golf ball? Or you could leave comments about what causes you to lose your focus and where you think you might be losing some strokes on the course.